Hello Sketchers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another vlog because they're fun and I want to. In today's video I'll be watching anime, unboxing some new markers that Parku sent me and reviewing them for you and you know, life. I do hope you'll enjoy and yeah, let's get straight into it. Hey, welcome back. Right now, I just found a reference on Pinterest and I just kind of wanted to draw it. And if you are wondering, yes, that's how all my sketches start out. Like random eye shaped dots for eyes. It's weird, I know. That just makes it easier for me, I guess. But um, yeah, here's the finished result. I think I drew it too small, so there wasn't a lot of details, but I do like it. So it's now Friday, yay, the day before the weekend. Today, I'm hoping to finish the new episode of WandaVision because I'm obsessed with the show. I need to finish some school work. I'll draw, I don't know. Today's kind of busy, but you know, we'll see what we do. Saturday the weekend um today I'm probably just gonna have a free day like watch YouTube draw I am probably gonna go live today and my new markers that Parku sent me is supposed to arrive today so I'll probably review those today as well if they come but yeah the world is our oyster or whatever that saying goes So now I'm going to review the new markers that Parku sent me. So once again, thank you for Parku for sending me this. So they sent me this for free. I did not pay a single cent. They just wanted me to review it on But they're dual tip brush markers, meaning they have a brush nib on one end and a chisel nib on the other. They're quick drying, alcohol-based inked. They're waterproof, non-toxic and smudge free, which is all what I like to hear. And they sent me the 12 pack to review, so it might be difficult to get the perfect colors, but you know what, I love a challenge. And I also find when I limit my colors, my art turns out better. 
Upon opening it, I like spilled everything out. But there is one thing I noticed that it did not come with a red, which I mean, it's a 12 pack, what do you expect? But here are all the colors that it did have. And it had two skin tones, one pale and like one darker brown, which I mean, like again, it is a 12 pack. I didn't expect to see a lot of those different colors. But I do believe they have an 80 pack, which I believe is $26 which is really cheap. And I think the markers were actually pretty good. The barrel, sort of like what my other brand of markers that I use was, except for the top of the cap, it, the, it's a different kind of like barrel, I guess. But it has two features on the end, which allows it to not like roll off the table, which is nice compared to different other brands that I've used. I did swatch it and the colors were pretty vibrant just for, Try. One thing I did notice though, especially when I was blending, is that it kind of bled a lot, which I'm okay with, but it was sort of like watercolor, but like not as extreme, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it, but they blended really well. I was honestly surprised that I blended from dark green to yellow so yeah i did blend a few more times and they all worked out pretty so well so this is a sketch i'm drawing i'm drawing kenma from heiku because i'm obsessed right now and i just lined it and one thing i did notice while coloring it is it did not smudge the liner and i like just lined it i didn't wait even for it to dry so i was really surprised so i give props to parku for doing that because that is one thing I hate is having that marker smudge thing with the liner. But since they did not have a red and the reference photo I was using had a red jacket, I mixed brown with orange and it actually turned out exactly how the reference photo was. So I'm glad I figured out that technique. Since I was layering it and making the red, the layering was really good. Like I, I showed it to my friend and she said that it looked like just one swatch of marker and not just a bunch of different things. So again, props to Parku for that. And that's all I really have to say. I do recommend them. I'll have a link in the pinned comment and description down below for you to check them out. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed the review and all the other things that happened today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.